Hey, Lauren, a lot of folks are wondering how this got done, given Republican leaders staunch opposition to Medicaid expansion just a few years ago. Some say it is because of Governor Cooper's persistence himself. The lack of health care is not just a personal crisis, it's an economic crisis, too. With this bill, more uninsured North Carolinians can avoid financial ruin from unpaid medical bills. More rural hospitals will be able to stay open with their jobs. The governor today signing Medicaid expansion into law right outside the mansion. The governor joined by Senate leader Phil Berger and House Speaker Tim Moore. This goes into effect as soon as the budget is passed. The governor's persistence is one thing, but it can also be traced to groups across the state who worked with local hospitals and businesses to really build consensus around the need for expansion, especially in rural communities and those small towns. They also heard from folks around here like Cassandra Brooks. Being able to offer health insurance will definitely be a large stake in the ground for North Carolina small business. I'm extremely thankful to the small business owners who stepped up and spoke out about the importance of needing to offer health insurance to their employees. Cassandra runs Little Believers Academy. They have locations in Garner and Clayton. She became a passionate advocate for Medicaid expansion after two of her employees died. She said they had illnesses that were treatable. They made too much to qualify for Medicaid then and not enough to pay for private insurance. This makes North Carolina the 40th state to expand Medicaid. The North Carolina Medical Society praised the signing and said, quote, it means a lot of our friends and neighbors will be able to lead healthier and happier lives without the burden of being uninsured. Lauren and Steve, back to you.